What is up YouTube? Brian here back again with another video and it is the start of September. We are entering the fall season here in the great state of Minnesota and that means another box from the Hookup Tackle subscription service. Now uh, I'm a little late on this one. It was Labor Day weekend when I got this box and I wasn't home. So um, we're into the first week back and I got a little time and uh, I have not opened this box yet even though it was very tempting to open this up as soon as I got home but I thought I'll wait, I'll open it up for you all so we can go through this together. So I've been doing this every month since the GDM Bento Box subscription was launched. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've been using a lot of the baits, um, especially out in Wisconsin, smallmouth fishing, and a lot of this stuff's been really, really fun. So let's dive in. I'm using my banter, my weed knives banter to open up this box. I love this knife. Um, I haven't bought any new knives in a while because I like the three or four knives that I kind of have in my current location. So uh, I haven't been knife nerding out too much. So, all right, here we go. Now I have, because of Instagram and some of the Facebook groups I'm in, I've kind of gotten a peek at some of the baits that are in this box. So I kind of have an idea of what people have been getting. However, um, outside of the Pop Max and the 110, people have been getting uh, different items in this box this month. So we're going to open it up. And uh, so right on top, we got the card. Uh, I think the card is just going to, yeah, the card is just going to talk about the 110 and the Pop Max, which we will get to in a second. Uh, we're just going to dive in. First, grab the first thing we feel. All right, so we got a OSP. This is the Shadtail 3.6. This is OSP's little um, swim bait. Uh, so this is a, let's see, 3.6. So this is very similar to the Kitech or Kitech or whatever you want to say, um, paddle tail swim bait. So I'm assuming we're going to get something to pair up with this guy. Now, I have been using a lot of OSP plastics this year. I've been using the OSP Dole Live Sticks. I've been using the OSP Dole Live Craws. Uh, and both of those baits have been fantastic. I've caught a lot of fish on them, especially the Dole Live Craws. They're a really, really, really great trailer for finesse jigs and finesse football jigs. Um, so the next bait is a spot remover jackhammer half ounce. Okay, so a couple things. I'm assuming Ben wants us to pair. Well, maybe not. This doesn't really pair with this. So we got a jackhammer. This is actually spot removers as a color I don't have in the jackhammers. I have a bunch of jackhammers, but I don't have spot removers, so that's cool. I'm kind of wishing Ben maybe would have thrown us a bone with two of the exclusive colors that that, uh, that Hookup Tackle has in the jackhammers. Maybe they're kind of out of them, so I don't know. But Because I have, I have one of the JDM, I'm sorry, I have one of the Hookup Tackle's exclusive jackhammer colors and I've caught the snot out of fish on the thing and I really like it so I was always gonna maybe order a couple more but anyway so jackhammers are never a bad thing but I think most of us have jackhammers or a lot of them I mean I got probably 30 something like that okay so we got okay this is cool so this is the depth death adder 5 inch uh, obviously this was a pairing so Ben Ben says the 5 inch death adder is a really awesome chatterbait trailer now this is going to be going with this spot remover. So you know what? I'm going to throw this, this uh, n the next time I'm out, uh, I've been throwing chatterbait a lot in the fall here. I'm going to pair up this spot remover with the death adder and we're going to see if we can catch some largemouth uh, maybe this week or next week. So I'd like this combination. I like that he paired the two up. That's very cool. Um, that's going to look sick. This color is really interesting. Uh, I can't read Japanese, so I don't know the exact color, but it's got a half chartreuse, half kind of flaky pearl body. Um, I'm not going to open it up because for depth plastics, you actually have to rip the top open. You can't reseal them uh, really that easily. I mean, they have, a re they have a zip, but I kind of like to leave the top on unless I've actually opened the package up. So anyway, all right. So I like the jackhammer combo. That's cool. Uh, common jackhammer, but with an uncommon trailer. Uh, still not totally sure what I'm going to do with the shad tail. One thing I'm noticing on these shad tails is how thin the body is. So you better use a small hook. If you're gonna rig this on like a jig head, uh, because that's not much meat to those plastics. All right, we're gonna dive into this one now. I I saw this bait. This is the Valley Hill. Uh, Valley Hill teamed up with uh, Lucky Craft to come up with some LV500 that are a little bit different than their normal LV500. So I'm gonna open this thing up and just kind of show you guys. Now, Ben talked about this in their most recent um, Sunday video. So essentially, they took an LV500 and they added a blade to it. So it's got a blade on the lip. It's got, whoa, there's a lot of rattles in this thing. There, I can see through this bait. There is at least four beads in this thing. That's super loud. So we got four beads. Whoa, wait, more than that. There's two in the head. Holy crap. There's 
four beads in the body, two in the head, and then a big one in the tail section for a weight. So this thing's got seven, seven beads in this sucker? Or eight? There's even more in there. This, this thing is full of beads. There's like eight beads in this thing. Crazy. Anyway, um, you got a little blade on the front. I'm sure you can take it off if you don't want it, but uh, this is going to be an interesting bait. I don't throw lipless cranks all that much, but at least this one's different than just your regular LV500. Um, so I'm probably going to hold on to this one and throw it a little bit. So I kind of like that this is a translucent color. This will probably be good in clear water. Um, I'm going to give this guy a whirl. I'm going to get this one wet. So that's kind of cool. Um, I like that it's a little bit different than just your standard LV500 with the addition of the blade on the nose. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes. We got our last two baits in the box. Um, we'll go through. We got the Pop Max. So the Pop Max this month is a Signal Phantom IU. GLX Signal Phantom IU. So this one is pretty interesting. We're going to take this bad boy out. All right, so first thing I'm noticing is it's extremely clear. And I'm noticing that the bottom is a pearl. The top is like a light green flake. You got a chartreuse hit on the head, which doesn't help you at all for fishing poppers because fish are never gonna see that chartreuse hit. I think they'd been better if the chartreuse hit was maybe on the bottom. But uh, I guess you'll be able to see your bait really well. So if you throw this out and you don't know where your bait is, you're gonna be able to detect it in the water with that chartreuse head. So um, overall, this looks like a good fish catcher, especially in clear water or on sunny days because this is a super translucent bait. Um, I like this one, pretty cool. So I already have some translucent-ish Pop Maxes, so I don't know where this is gonna fit into my rotation, but uh, I do like the color. Now this is interesting. Now I've heard about this one, Ben was talking about this a little bit on Instagram. I was trying to do a little research, but I couldn't really find anything, but this is a G, I'm sorry, this is a Vision 110 in Chartreuse Shad. So apparently, Someone said that Mega Bass came out with this color, but it was a Japanese market only color and it came out many years ago. But let me look at this thing. It is very, it's not really see-through. Uh, just holding it up to the light. It is not, not transparent. We'll give you guys a good look there. But some of the cool things is you got a chartreuse stripe right down the side. You got scaled top, white belly, but What's special about this thing, you got a nice blue head. So you got that little hit of blue on the head. Uh, this looks like a really good smallmouth 110. So I'm gonna, we're coming up in the fall season. We're gonna be jerking a lot, um, especially for me over uh, in some of the lakes in Wisconsin. I'll be throwing this a lot. We got a trip up north planned to the Grand Rapids, Minnesota area. This bait will definitely get a workout up there. So this will get tied on. Um, this bait will get tied on uh, this fall and we're gonna throw it. So uh, I like the box this month. It's very simple. Uh, I think Ben kind of played safe a little bit. You got your typical LV500, but it, it, or not. you got another lipless crank, but it's a little bit of a different one this time. You know, it's that mashup bait between uh, Valley Hill and, if you haven't used Valley Hill stuff yet, they're pretty nice, GDM company. Uh, but this is the only one I'm a little iffy on. Uh, the Shadtail 3.6. This looks like it's going to be a really great finesse swim bait. However, I'm a little concerned, like I said, about how thin the profile is. I've had experience with these really thin profile um, swim baits, and I just and once you get a hook through it with a hook, once you get a, a, a hook through it, especially one that has any kind of like plastic keeper, it just shreds these things, and they don't um, like a body this thin typically. Is not long for this world and it's kind of hard to rig so i have to find and see what kind of what i have for like little teeny tiny jig heads for this thing to see if i can throw it but um so not super thrilled with this i know these are expensive they're like 10 bucks a pack this is not a bait that i would have probably ever bought myself in this size um but you know we'll give we'll give ben the benefit of the doubt and we'll, we'll give it a roll so um i will say that kind of a common color jackhammer not super thrilled about it these not super thrilled but everything else i really like cool trailers haven't tried a death adder five inch for a trailer uh you know i'm not a lipless guy so whatever we'll give that a roll but um i do like the pop max and i do oops, and i do like the 110 so uh all in all i give this box like seven and a half seven 
So definitely not one of my favorite boxes that we've had, but definitely some usable and good baits in here. Um, so I will say that not one of my favorite boxes. However, I'm still very happy with the subscription and I still can't wait to see what comes every month. So that's all we got for today. If you have any questions, comments, uh, anything you want to say, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. And also, if you're not following me yet on Instagram, you really should. I am at Punch Fishing. I'm posting a ton of stuff on there. So uh, until the next video, we'll see you all later. Thank you for watching.